Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear students. Today our topic is natural and man-made materials. Our learning objective and success criteria for today, at the end of the class, you should be able to recognize that some materials are natural while others are man-made. All the things around us are made from different materials. Some of these materials are natural and the others are man-made. What do we mean by natural materials? Natural materials are materials that comes from animals, plants and from the earth. But man-made materials are materials made by humans from the natural resources through chemical processes. Examples of natural materials. Natural materials comes from animals, plants, and from the earth, the non-living things from the ground. Let us start with the examples of animals. Let us see the materials that comes from animals. The natural materials that comes from animals, example, wool. Wool is a natural material that comes from sheep. It is used to make woolen cup, woolen sweater and so many other things like woolen shovel. The other natural material that comes from animals is the silk. Silk comes from silkworm. Silk comes from the cocoons that silkworm spins. They are the young of a kind of moth. Let us see what people use the silk for. To make silk scarves, silk tie, and so many other types of cloths. The other natural material that comes from animals is the leather. Leather is the skin of animal. People use the leather as the leather comes from some animals like the cow, the crocodile, the snake, and so many other animals. People use this leather to do things like leather belt, leather handbags, leather shoes, and so many other things. Now let us move to the natural materials that comes from plants. The first natural material that comes from plant is the cotton. The cotton comes from cotton plants. It is used to make things like t-shirts, cotton towel, and so many other things. Second material that comes from plant is the rubber. The rubber comes from rubber tree. It used to make, for example, rubber gloves, rain boots, balloons, erasers, and so many other things. The third natural material that comes from plant is the wood. Wood come from trees. It is used to make things like tables, chairs, and wooden doors. Now let us move to the natural materials that comes from the ground or the earth. The examples of the materials that comes from the ground 
rocks. We can find rocks in so many places like the mountains, seashore, caves, and so many other places on the earth. People use the rocks to do things like building, sculptures, and bridge. People use the rocks because rocks are strong and not easy to break it down. The second natural material is the soil. Let us take an example of clay soil. People use the clay soil to make clay pots and also bricks for building. After we saw the examples of natural materials, let us move to the man-made materials. Examples of man-made materials, paper, plastic, glass, ceramics, and concrete. Paper is a natural, sorry, paper is a man-made material that comes from trees. People use the paper to make things like books, paper bags, boxes, and so many other things. The second man-made man material we have is the plastic. Plastic are made from type of oil that found in the ground. They are used to make things like plastic toys, plastic cloths, plastic bags, and so many plastic objects. The third man-made material is the glass. The glass is made from sand and limestone. It is used to make things like glass bottles, glass bowls, and so many glass objects. Let us move to another example of man-made material and that is ceramics. Ceramics are made from clay. People use the clay to make ceramic bricks and ceramic floor tiles. The last man-made material that we have today is the concrete. Concrete is made from clay, sand, limestone and gravel. People use the concrete to make concrete buildings. Hope you understand today's class. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.